Here is the hard truth, fellas. Being handsome doesn't keep a woman. Being honest doesn't keep a woman. Being loyal doesn't keep a woman. Being there for a woman doesn't keep a woman. Treating a woman well doesn't keep a woman. Making an effort doesn't keep a woman. Caring about a woman doesn't keep a woman. Spending time with a woman doesn't keep a woman. You could have the best intentions. You could have the most sincere feelings. And you could be a good man and still wouldn't be able to keep a woman. Because the only way to keep a woman is if that woman wants to be kept by you. You can't force a woman to be with you. You can't beg a woman to stay with you. You can't make a woman to love you. A woman that wants to be kept when the relationship gets hard will do everything to fight for you. Because a woman only fights for a fella she wants to belong to. So if she isn't fighting for you when things get hard, she doesn't want to be kept by you. Like I said, I found that clip a couple of days ago and i thought it was fantastic on the heels of our last conversation and, and also you know our, our ongoing conversation um for the folks on youtube you guys know that my start on youtube was interviewing women these one-on-one -on -one interviews that i would do and there are actually some clips on instagram as well with the white background and the brown couch that people know about but you know before that i was um conducting conversations with women um, on college campuses so I've been fortunate enough in that experience and also in my personal life to, to pry and to get, you know, more insight into the inner workings of the female psyche. Now, women's brains are very, very different from men's brains. Women's brains are made up of a big ball of wire. <laughs> the money's connected to the car and the car's connected to your job and your kids are connected to your mother and everything's connected to everything. And it's like... <laughs> And I think that's so important because I think a lot of men's grievances with women and even, you know, what led to spaces like the Manosphere, what led to a lot of the gender uh, dysfunction that we see is, in my opinion, on both sides, unfair expectations. I think men have a certain idea of women that is unfair uh, based on the reality of who they are as humans. And vice versa, I think women have unrealistic, unfair expectations of men. There's a saying that goes, a man wants a good girl who's only bad with him, and a woman wants a bad boy who's only good to her. That's great, yeah. I heard that one about a year ago. It resonated with me, it's true. Why do women love assholes? Why do women love assholes? Well, there's a number of reasons for that. And, you know, on, on the male side, since, you know, I'm a dude, I think part of the reason that some of that animosity builds uh, within us is because of our community, right? A lot of the game we get on women is from women. And a lot of that game is, is bullshit. Let's just, let's just keep it a bug. It, it's not true, right? Uh, and then, you know, you hear phrases like fish can't teach fish how to fish. I mean, fish can't teach you how to fish. Uh, that's because a lot of times the women that we might get information from, whether it's our mothers, our aunties, um, female friends, sisters, they are idealistic in their advice. And, you know, a lot of us at a young age, sometimes older, we observe that what they say they want versus what they respond to are completely different most of the time. It's, it's a lack of self-awareness. I think it's a it's an idealism as well. Um, the tragic thing that tends to happen is um, a lot of men in our community were raised and reared by women. There were no men around. You often see the son-husband epidemic where women are raising boys to be the men that they wish they had. And oftentimes, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, dysfunction in that ideal. Oftentimes you'll see single mothers dress their boys like the men who broke their hearts, but expect them to become neurosurgeons or something. Like, it, but you still want little, little, little man man to be, you know, hood and street and all that other stuff that is in complete opposition to 
what he would need to be <laughs> to become a, a neurosurgeon in disposition and discipline and, you know, even in the way that he, he interacts with the community. But oftentimes we, we don't talk about that. So that's why when I see clips where women are telling the truth, it, it's such a it's just an amazing, profound thing to experience. And that's one of the things OGs will tell you. The only woman who you can keep is a woman who wants to be kept. But I think a lot of times as men, we we don't understand that. We might understand that in theory, but we don't understand it in practice. More than that, I think we're also socialized to believe that our masculinity is uh, correlated with our ability to win a woman over, right? Like eh, eh, most of the movies you're gonna watch, it's the woman didn't like him that much in the beginning or she didn't like him at all. And he did some really cool shit, saved her life, whatever the case may be, and won her over. Um, so I think a lot of a lot of us as men, we drank that Kool Aid, and we, we don't understand that truth that the, this woman just uh, spoke. Unless I mean, until oftentimes it's too late. And you know, we criticize the Pookies and the Ray Rays of our community. You know, why do women want them? Uh, but we we often don't get granular. And trying to answer those questions um, earnestly and you know thoroughly, and that that's what I'm gonna try to do a little bit of with my theory, <laughs> as you can see in the title, that women are filmmakers. After my time interviewing women, after my time dealing with women in my own personal life, I've had a lot of time to think and reflect, <laughs> and consider some of the experiences that I've had, some of the conversations that I've had, etc. And I think especially now that I'm a girl dad. It seems very necessary to begin to make sense of some of these things, um, or at least make them clearer in order to, when the time comes, better uh, assist my daughter in making wise decisions for herself and her positioning, herself and her personal brand, and also uh, in vetting men. Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.